Hey everybody, Michael Fisher with Pocket Now, Tony behind the camera, and I'm here with uh, Stefano Mosconi, a Hello, CIO of Yola, correct? Yep. And he's going to take us through a quick walkthrough of uh, the Yola Sailfish OS. Let's check it out. So this is a development device, of course, it's not yet our own device, it's uh, three years... The 950? It's the N950, okay. not the N950, and uh, it's a uh, three years old hardware, mm -hmm. so you know you can do the math right <laughs> so, so this is a vertical UI so the concept is is vertical as you can see here um, the uh, there is the lock screen uh, the home view and then the grid with all the applications okay and this is these uh, on the home screen in the center those are actively running applications right now those are actively running applications. now I, I will go there later okay so uh, let's focus now on the lock screen you see here some notifications so these are of course notifications of the all these here are notifications notifications yes okay. notifications like messages missed calls or emails okay. chats or, or something like that so to so I can double tap and wake up ah, the screen nice. and I can push from the right and uh, reveal the events view. This is uh, one of the latest addition that we have made. So this is an aggregated notification center? It's an aggregated notification center, ah, exactly. Okay. So we have this events view, all the events that are important for the user will be displayed here. Mm -hmm. uh, as I said, uh, messages, email, missed calls, chats, there is a space for ads, partner and space or operator space. And will third-party apps be able to plug into this? Absolutely, okay. absolutely, yes. E everything is, is really available for, for third-party apps. So then we have the feeds like social media, Twitter, RSS, whatever you want. There it is. You push from the side and it disappears. So here one thing I want to show you is the not status bar or the status bar which is something which is hidden. So it will be it will going away. So we are trying to save as much uh, real estate on the screen as possible. See. Because we think that the user doesn't have to see the status bar every time he looks at the phone. So if sure. he wants he will just just no, pull down, down and, and see it. And that's always available. Uh, is that available when a third party app is, is running as well? Can you pull down but and see the status? This is this is part of the this is part of the of the home screen. So just the home screen. Yeah, okay. It's part of the home screen. I, I will show you how you can pick it from an application Great. In, in a minute. Okay. So let's open the, the media player. Let's select a song here. So now yeah. it's playing. I don't know if you can hear, but yes. it's playing. And uh, for instance, if I want to go to the next song, I just uh, up apply this gesture. So we are trying to break out of this uh, tip tapping mm -hmm. here and there. And this is still playing the song. So we have these uh, active covers. And the active covers are something that you can apply actions on. The, the thing I was trying to explain you right. over and the phone. <laughs> each of these is an active cover. Yeah, yes. each of these is an active cover. So they have actions. I can pause the music just by applying I see. an action. So I, I just apply the simple gesture on top and it just plays music, for instance. You can play and pause and resume and exactly. with pause a the next one. Ah, I see. And uh, once again, any any app has the potential to use gestures in that manner. Absolutely, this is a part integral part of our component of our uh, Sailfish Silica component. So okay. the SDK has this capability. Great. So yeah, now it's playing the music. I will pause it just for the sake of not hearing it, okay. and uh, I go to the to the timer here. So this is a simple clock application. Okay. I will show you the, the, the pulley menu. So the pulley menu is a, a kind of a shortcut menu. So the there are actions or like the most used things of the application. So mm -hmm. for instance, if I want to set a new timer, I can set a new timer. Oh. Timer name. And this whatever. is this is designed in-house by, by Yola? Yeah, this is your, is your design? Yeah, everything is our stuff. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we are not borrowing. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I understand. I just wanted to make sure yeah, it wasn't yeah. a third-party app that you... No, no. Yeah. Then, w if we want to go back to the home view, mm. we can do this. But here you see now the, the status bar. So I'm, I'm seeing now the status, bar, the status bar, but if I go... It disappears. Then you come back... Okay, but if you, so don't, if you, you don't complete that gesture, then you can come right back into yeah. the app. You just take a glance and then you're back yeah. in. Oh, I see. So you see? You it's similar, a it's like a, a reverse of the peak, yes. And goodbye. Yes. Exactly. Interesting. And we go back here. So, uh, what else can I show you? The, the ambience that we have uh, we have talked about already. Yes, we can change the mood of the device. Exactly. You can change the mood of the device. You select a new... And when you select it, and I'm sorry, go ahead, you can yeah, complete yeah. it. And when you select it, uh, does it have to be a stock image on the phone, or can it be a, a photo that you've taken? I can take a picture of you now, and and, <laughs> it, will, and it will apply a, a Michael yes. Fisher ambience to, to into Sailfish. Yes, <laughs> that's so that's we create the ambience. Not only the wallpaper has changed, but also you see the font 
the, the color of the font has changed. And this, of course, can lead to other changes if, if we want if to we implement them. If so you want to expand there, it. Yeah, there is a lot of possibilities here. So mm -hmm. it takes the uh, the color which is in the image, which is the color in majority, and applies it, that to it the text? There is an algorithm that samples the image, mm -hmm. the, the hue, and, and everything, mm -hmm. and it applies to, under to have some kind of a contrast. Otherwise, you will just <laughs> see right. green on green, for instance. So yes. And uh, when you are in an app and you pull down that, that context-sensitive menu, you're getting haptic feedback at each step yes. of that, right? Yeah, you get uh, uh, haptics and, and uh, audible feedback. So you can hear and feel that you are That you're actually going through. selecting different yes. items. It's another nice thing. Again, the pulley menu, yes. you, you see the date there. Ah, and yes. And there are few things that you usually do. So few applications ah. that you can run. For instance, the camera, mm -hmm. the phone, or you just want to put it in silent profile. So what I will do, I will put now in silent. Okay. That's and that's it. done. That's it. It's silent. As you can see, it's silent. And are those options up top user customizable? Like, say, I always go to Twitter. Could I conceivably plug that in up top? It, it's something that we can do if we want. It's pretty simple to do it. So nice. Uh, I, I don't have a policy on that. <laughs> yes. <I'm> great. <laughs> okay. Can you show us off the uh, camera application? <laughs> yes, sure. It's extremely simple. There it is. So that's... <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I'm looking great on that one, yeah, aren't I? Picture in picture thing. And then w so it's here. And uh, now it's in the gallery. Yeah, it's in the gallery. And you could uh, you could build an ambiance out of that, or yes. presumably you could edit. And you, is there a built-in share functionality? So if I tap yes. on that, we can share it to Absolutely. any including so third-party apps. Yeah, what we're trying to do is to integrate all these uh, social media sharing functions and uh, natively in the in the in the platform. So mm -hmm. right now. For, for first, I create your ambience. Okay. <laughs> oh, so thank you. you. Yes. <laughs> yes. That, that, that's very me. <laughs> <laughs> that's very you. <laughs> and then, okay. So and I you can, can share via yeah, Facebook I can share there, here. Or, or we can add a different account. Yeah. You, we, we can share. Okay. See? So here is Facebook, for instance. We have a default account, you know, test account on Facebook. Sure. And we can share the thing, the original. And this interface would look basically the same, you know, in, in another in application yeah. like it, like Twitter yeah. or Foursquare yeah, or whatever. As you many want accounts as you have. Sure. As many accounts you will see here. You can well, you cannot select now because we only have Facebook. Because you only have one account, right? But that's, wow. That's basically it. So. Um, so these are basically the new developments since the last yeah. round of hands-on yes. that, that we have seen okay. uh, on Sailfish, and of course, okay. no announcement here at the uh, at the show. But oh, no, um, we we have released yes the SDK. Uh, that's which kind is great. Of a Congratulations, big thing. by the way. That's a very uh, big thing. A third-party developer yes. SDK. So the the SDK it was very nice. The feedback we got from from developers after 20 minutes we have uh, published. We got the first application ported. 20 minutes for the first application. What was it? Uh, G Podder, a podcast client. Oh, no, nice, a podcast application. Podcast, yes, and then uh, we have uh, received a lot of love for the for the way how we have designed the the, the UI design, the the guidelines, and the components themselves. So it's it's really geeky to say this component is beautiful, but that's what we have received. Well, the, <laughs> so the passion is is contagious. Yeah, so. the passion, passion, and uh, it's pretty simple. Uh, right now we support Linux. Mm -hmm. um, the, the SDK supports yes. Linux. It's based on Qt Creator. Uh, we have plugged in our own uh, components there, okay. and uh, and we have uh, a, a virtual machine, so you can basically run the, the Sailfish OS on your Linux desktop. And as I recall, you're going to use, this is my last question, I know you have to go, you're going to use uh, web apps to kind of plug, fill the gaps in between uh, as we go? Before. So we, we, we have, we are going to support, first of all, Android applications. So oh, that's sure. the way how we are trying to fill the gap. Okay, to answer so you. that's your preferred. Uh, but of course, the, the native development, it's what uh, matters the most to us, right. and uh, you will get something more if you develop the, the, the application natively, of course. Yeah. You, you can access these, these, these features that we have seen now. With Android, you cannot access the pulley menu, you cannot uh, have the right. active cover. Because they're running in a sandbox. Yeah, they're they're of, running yeah. in, in the Android environment. So right. uh, and, do you expect and of to course, have HTML5. That's, right. that's the other part of the story. And do you expect to have a, um, s some Android apps ported at launch? By that there time? is no need to port anything. I they mean, run unmodified. Th they just run unmodified. Yeah. Okay, so you'll have access to There is no need to port. I mean, they are there. That's very exciting. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to, I really thank you for your time, Stefano, thank and you uh, very nice to meet you in person after our yeah, interview yeah. last week. Uh, once again, Michael Fisher with uh, Pocket Now, Tony behind the camera, and Stefano Moscone, CIO of Yola. Once again, thank you very thank much. Thank you very much.